Welcome to Work and Fusing Manners. I am Lee and you are today? Mitch. Okay, you're going to say your real name. Great, great, great. I thought what? You were, you, yesterday you said, the other day you said Jeff. No, I didn't. And you said Jorge. You're imagining two things. No, don't say that. Don't make me fat <laughs> seem crazy. I've had a great sleep, so I am, I'm fine. Not imagining anything. Okay. Um, highs and lows, my love. We've got a, We've actually got a, a, a different episode today, but... Just a fun one. A fun one, yeah. Uh, highs, we went to Melbourne yesterday, which was pretty fun to check out some cool Yes Please clothing samples. Yes. Which was pretty fun. Um, that was nice. Lows, no lows. Great week. Happy, just happy. Happy boy. Happy boy this week. So anyway, over to you. Big you were about to say big dog, weren't you? Big boy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, go on. I agree with you. Um, I have so many highs of the week. Do you want me to tell you all of them? Okay, ready? So my my first one is I've been so good at the gym. Like if you see me looking like a snack next week, don't be surprised. Mind your business. Um, second thing. Okay, firstly, it doesn't really relate. It doesn't relate to that. But I bought these muffins yesterday from in Melbourne from that cafe. At, I only have three left and they're from Melbourne. And they're the best thing I've ever eaten in my whole life. And you can fit the cupcake in your mouth in one bite. And it just feel it just makes you joy. It just brings joy in your in your <laughs> bones, you know? Like yep. that's oh fuck, I'm so sad. Mitch literally was like, oh, because I said to him, Can you try some? The one I bit. And I was like, Do you want to try some? He goes, No, I'll have one later. And I a rage and went in my body because I was like, that means now I have two if you try one later. So don't do that. <laughs> like have the half that I'm giving you now or don't try it at all because I want my three. Um and I don't know. What, oh, yeah. Melbourne was really fun yes, the other day. It was like yesterday. It was really great. Yeah. I liked it. But the muffins was the best probably bit about it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. <laughs> what? I have to say it's true. The My low is fucking the dogs. Reggie oh. still peeing inside. And we've decided... I've been watching him because everyone was saying maybe it could be like a UTI or a bladder infection or whatever. It is 100% behavioral. Like 100%. he is so jealous of me and Gigi and it's really hard because I give him so much love and I sit there and I like squish his face. And I'm like, don't pee inside my boy. And he just does. But it's 100% to, that's the first time he's done it this week, mm. as in last night. Yeah. And first two nights, I think, of the week we had dinner at your mum's, no pee inside. Then I don't know what we did the other night. I think we played out in the living room yeah. with Gigi, so everyone was there, nothing. Then when we play in the playroom and close the door so the dogs don't come in, yeah. that's when it becomes an issue. So they just get, yeah. They get like super they jealous of out. you and yeah. Gigi. But when you're not home, no problem. It's weird because if you're just with Gigi, he won't do it. But if, it's, no, it if I'm care. there, he's, yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, I'm trying to give him as much love as I possibly can. Like he will follow me everywhere and I'm like, my boy, like we're just... So anyway, I got... Um, our dog trainer back who he loves to get to just walk him twice a week so that he can just feel the love no not feel the love because I give him that but just like stretch your legs do you know what I mean (laughs) (laughs) just not inside yeah just not not on the wall please my (laughs) please just it's so annoying anyway that's that's all I that's all I got for my low it's just annoying but we love him Mm. He's just a naughty boy. But I have um this morning. Do you know do you know my like my my am I the asshole? Have you have you heard of that before? I understand the concept. But have you have you seen it on like TikTok or like nah. Reddit or any of those nah. things? Okay. So for people at home who might not know, um it's it's basically a story is called Am I the Asshole? And it's people saying, like telling a story and then asking whoever mm-hmm. if they are the asshole in the situation or not the asshole in the situation. Yeah. So I love them. I have like in my midnights when Gigi's up, that's what I read because I'm like, it's so much fun. Like, I just like to, what are you going to say? So this is going to replace the funny story? Well, I don't really have a funny story. Okay. I can't think of one other than yesterday when I was on the plane. When the, stu- when the and I was, I did a story, I did actually a TikTok on it. It's gone, it, it's got 10K views, my God. It's pretty, Look it's out. pretty special. Um, I sat there while I was, um, okay, let's go to the funny story, whatever. I was, it's not really that funny, but I wonder if other people do it. I sat there and as the stewardess was like, this is a safety demonstration, blah, blah, blah. And, and I was in there nodding, smiling and nodding. And she kind of like looked at me and I was like, mm, I understand everything you're saying. <laughs> and But I was like, Mitch, I look at everyone, everyone else is on their phones, everyone else is whatever. And me, I felt so bad because I'm like, this poor girl is doing this demonstration and she thinks no one's listening to her. So I just had to make it known. That, that you were listening to I'm, her. Yeah. I think that's a thing. It has to be because, and I wonder if you're but, a flight attendant and you're like, yeah. you're listening to this, like, do you care if people look or not? Because I would feel be like, bitch, fucking listen. Like, what if I have an emergency? Is what it, are you going to do then? But is it better that people pretend to care <laughs> and look at you or actually just be honest and just don't give a fuck, like keep being on your phone? 
Well, I think that I would want people to like, I'm talking to you. Do you know what I mean? But Probably. are they? They're what? talking to like 30 people. Yeah, I know. The ones that are bad and no flight attendant is bad, but I mean like it's it's bad when you sit in the exit rows and then they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, Jeremy, yeah. And you are ha- you looking at yeah. me? <laughs> yeah. And like clicking at you. Yeah, like, and you hey. have to be like, are you ready and able? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was like, bitch, if there's an emergency, I am <laughs> running. <laughs> If you think I'm not going to sit here screaming, yeah, you, you are. are mistaken. But I would like some extra leg room. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I'm not here because I'm a hero. I do. Like sometimes like I've even gotten to the point where sometimes I'll get out the, the book. No, stuff. they make you get out the No, book. no, no. Not in the extra row. Just in the regular row. Like oh. I just sit there and I'm like, yeah, look, I can see what's in. I see nah, the brace position. Not a yeah, chance. Well done. I just feel guilty. I wonder if other people do that. That just that just have to. I'm definitely not the arsehole in that situation. I am a prime Straight you know? Yeah, I am. That's what I feel. Anyway, <laughs> let us know if you're like me or if you're like Mitch who just ignores them or like me, I sit there and... Like, Hold on. Like Reggie. Ignores them. It's not like I'm the arsehole. I'm just <laughs> sitting there minding my business. Like yesterday... <laughs> Mind your business. I was just watching YouTube. Yeah, but like, they're talking to you. No, they're not. The speakers are talking. <laughs> <laughs> they're not actually yeah, saying anything. It's true. It's just a hard one. Do you know what I mean? I just feel guilty. And then like when you walk out the plane, do you say goodbye? Yeah, I say oh, thank you. Yeah, good. Yeah, good, good. Yeah. Appreciate that. Thank you for hitting my knees on the way out. I, hate, no, I'm I, kidding, I'm kidding. I can't stand people who walk, like, walk out of a plane and just like ignore the person. Like they're standing right there. Thank you so much for keeping us safe, you know? but Those vibes. Yeah. And, but and, do you know what? All in life, I just ask for communication. On the flight to Melbourne... Air hostess, nothing but communication. Hey guys, we're just waiting for the aero bridge. It's going to be a minute, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we arrived home, landed. Yes, yeah, sat there on the plane. Sat waiting there on the 10 plane. minutes. Not one person on, like, yeah. said anything. I'm like, yeah, yeah. just an update would yeah. be great. Because <laughs> my legs. No yeah. <laughs> like, why are we sitting here? <laughs> Literally. Um, anyway. All right, let's get into Am I the Asshole? I have five stories and I will not tell you because I, I did a story before and I won't tell you who's who and what stories. No, I don't want to know. Like yeah. from, Hit me. some stories are from online. Some yeah. stories are from actual okay. followers, right? And they've been like, can you Give obviously keep fresh. us super private? Don't mm. say our names, all that kind of yeah. stuff. Because obviously like, you know, if they're fam, if I'm like, oh, like Kelly from this place is like, you know, yeah. Yeah. name's not Kelly, obviously. So, basically, I'm going to include you guys in these conversations. You can just nod or shake your head, obviously. <laughs> we'll have a group vote. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a group vote. Who's the asshole in the situation? Yeah, let's do it. So, there's, I've got many. So, let's go with the first. For, let's just go with the first one. It's called, this is, well, this is my fucking, it's online because it has a title. Okay. So, it's called The Other Daughter. And I would like to, the people who are listening, anyone who's listening, I want you to join on in on this, okay? okay. So, I'm going to read the story mm-hmm. and then we'll have a vote. Ooh. Okay. So, I'm finally getting married in two months. In two months' time, after a year of planning and everything has been going to plan so far without any hiccups. That was until my mother called me earlier in the week and asked me to postpone my wedding by at least a month. So, this is just two months away, mm-hmm. postponed by another month. My sister is currently pregnant and her due date is ju- July the 17th. My sister had asked my mother to be there for her for the whole of July since the due date is just an estimate and it is her first baby. Long story short, the father of her child is my ex-boyfriend whom she was sleeping with while we were dating. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a relationship with with one another, but I'm not willing to postpone my wedding for my sister. And I told my mother that also that she just simply needed to choose who she wanted to support on that day. She's been on the fence sitting and that's why why I'm here. She's saying I'm forcing her to make an impossible decision and my aunts are also trying to convince me to postpone. Don't get me wrong. I know she's a mum. I know she's also mum's child and wants to be there for her. But also I want her there for me on my day. I've already waited a year for this and it's already planned. Am I the asshole? No. Fucking not a chance. I would be like, you, you, see ya. <laughs> like, are you joking? No. You don't get the whole of July if you're on July 17th. I don't understand a world where anyone thinks that she is the asshole. No. But what that kind of like just that in makes what, in what world? No, not a your chance. Your sister's the asshole. Literally, she's with your ex boyfriend. Hundred <laughs> percent. What the fuck? <laughs> like and I, the mum. Yeah, no, <laughs> what the, the mum. Fuck? Sorry, uh, what? Nah, man. No, not that, a chance. That's a quick one. I don't think anyone's supporting the mum. No, other and sister. also, but like your wedding's two months, so you're not just going to postpone for a month. Like you're going to pay for the postponing fees? No, not a chance. What a dickhead. That Selfish. is. So let me tell you. Yeah. Okay. She not the asshole. Yeah, no. Definitely right. not. Okay, that, we're in agreement. We're in agreement. Then we're in agreement. So we've got four out of four. That's perfect. Quick pod. No, I've got f- I've got five <laughs> stories. I've got That's many. it, guys. Thanks for listening. <laughs> I have so many. This might be a quick pod. Who knows? Um, this one is called The Forgetful Player. I don't know if it's a player or like a 
Okay. Player or like a sports player. We'll, we shall see. I literally yeah, just we, screenshot Are you going to say if this is online or not? No, this one's online because it has oh, a title. Oh, yeah, okay, well, I'm now I'm just kind of like outing my <laughs> Welcome to the podcast, Mitch. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Are you fucking here? Okay. So, my sister-in-law, and it says in quotations, Amy, always comes to visit from out of town. She stays with us instead of a hotel and always wants to go to expensive restaurants. She always conveniently forgets her wallet or comes up with some excuse as to why she can't pay her share. Mm-hmm. She's implied that since I make much more money than her, I should be the one to pay. No, not my husband should pay, but specifically me. So like not saying like, you know, yeah. you guys can pay. It's more like just her. Mm-hmm. I do make a fair amount of money, but not so much that I can treat someone every time they come into town. Nonetheless, in the past, I've just paid the bill and asked her to pay me back and she never has. So... She made a reservation at an extremely expensive restaurant last night and before we left, I made it clear that I would not pay the bill. This is where I might be the asshole and I admit I got this move straight from an episode of Two and a Half Men. As we were leaving, her and my husband went to the car. I pretended I forgot something and went back inside. I found her wallet sitting right on top of her suitcase. I put it in my purse and we went to the restaurant. When we were done eating, I asked for separate bills. She said, no, we need one bill because she forgot her wallet again. I reached in my purse and I said, this wallet? (laughs) And she was extremely furious. She said that I should not have touched or grabbed her wallet. Am I the asshole for taking her wallet and bringing it to the restaurant? Nah, man, I'd do the same. I agree. I'd do the same. I agree. There's a lot of stuff on TikTok that. right now about these um, people who are having like a lavish birthday. So they'll invite like 20 friends and they'll have, or say like, say 10 friends or whatever. I get where this is going. And they'll order like the most expensive stuff, like wines and drinks and whatever. And then like when it comes to the bill, the people who are literally like, I'm not drinking, I'm not eating, I've just come for your birthday, mm-hmm. they're being asked to split like a $5,000 bill or a $4,000 bill. I reckon there was one yeah. that was like 4200 and something. Yeah. These guys were like, I'm not fucking paying. And these yeah. girls were like, no, you need to pay. It's my yeah. birthday. And they were like, I'm not fucking, I'm just not even doing anything. I'm not even eating or drinking. So it's like, yeah, what? I actually have a similar story and I won't name names, but there was a buck show that I went to many years ago. Yeah. And I won't reveal locations because then I'll give it away. Oh. But I went there for, let's say, a couple hours. It was a multi-day event, like over the weekend. Mm. And then one of the people that organized it said, yeah, I just need your 200 bucks for the buck show. And I was like, for what? (laughs) And they were like, well, for the meat, for the blah, 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 for the four days. And I was like, mate, I was here for two hours and I snacked on my own chips. (laughs) So, you know, like, was the 200 dollars like a present? No, no, no. And then I I took a present. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, no, yeah. no. So the $200 nah, yeah, like was to pay for the days. I'm like... I'm not there. Yeah, I yeah, wasn't that, there. I do remember that. Yeah, you went for like literally the afternoon and then came back before dinner time. And I didn't eat anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just like, okay, I'm just here to make an appearance and yeah, support nah, you. Yeah, no, no, no. But Fuck that. Yeah. I don't, think, I don't think that girl's the asshole and I don't think you're the asshole either. I think like no. you just pay your way or like whatever you do. But then I, get, I do think if you are in agreement, so like if you're going to go for breakfast with people or whatever and you're what all eating, you're all drinking... Yeah. Yeah. It is, I'd probably be like, yeah, I'll just split it in four well, or whatever. Like, that's fine. I'm- yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, if we, for example, because uh, it'd be the easiest, if we went to dinner with Kayla and Jay. Yeah. And we went and Jay had a beer and I didn't. And then we, let's just say we split the bill in two. I wouldn't say, oh, well. You had, be- nah, you had a beer. And yeah. I, do you know I what I mean? I think it depends like, on who you're with. It just depends with. on the situation. Like, if, if you know, because obviously, like, we'd pay, they'd pay. We do that every Saturday morning. Like, one of us pays. Like, and we just mm-hmm. don't, it doesn't matter. But, like, I feel like it depends on who you're with. Like, if you're with people, you're I like, agree. you know, they're good. Like, But if it's a birthday people. and you're going to put on some lavish spread, there either needs to be an understanding before you go. Yeah. If that, you're, hey, it's $80 a head. 100%. Or I'm paying for you to come. Yeah. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, because like, you can't expect people to be like, oh yeah, like when you come. You the fact. That's uh, weird. Yeah. Then people are like, well, I don't, I don't have a spare 300 bucks for you. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, but imagine being like a party of 10 and being asked to split four, $4,000 or $5,000 because these people wanted like crab and lobster and all this yeah. shit. Like, we have a term of what we call that, but I won't say it out I loud. would be like... But that's not on. That's not on. No way. Fuck that. But this person, not an asshole, but hilarious. I would say that's a great move to grab your wallet, grab her wallet and be like, 100%. here it is. Because obviously would, that's just that. like, she just does that all the time. Nothing I would like do that. that. Yeah. Or just go to a, go to fucking McDonald's and just yeah. enjoy, di- actually like the dinner. Yeah. <laughs> As if this is like some yeah. expensive ass restaurant. Just, yeah. You know? I'm, I'm just big on fairness. I think. Yeah. I don't care how much money you make or don't make or whatever. Yeah, just, I, fair is fair. 100%. That's it. I agree. 
I agree. You are. This person was not the asshole, Hel- although hilarious. This is this is another one. Okay, let's go. Let's actually, we'll go with this one. This one's good because it's Let's great. do it. Okay. All right. This one is... This one harder because the first have been pretty easy. No. Like, do they get harder? Or? No. Oh, okay. oh, this one might be. No. Okay, <laughs> okay, so this is called The Crafty Friend. Okay. She's crafty. Good on her. I crochet as a hobby, firstly. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I am... No. Hey, everyone's got to have a hobby. I get it, but I just don't have the time. Like, not the time, the patience That's for that. Because if I requires fuck it up, serious oh. talent. It's like those people that make the... What are the things called? Like the origami? Like, mm, dude, that's probably not as talented. Yeah. That's pretty easy. It's no, that's paper. hard. No, that's hard. That's hard. Well, you make a swan. No, I just do paper airplane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. That's origami, that's right? <laughs> I like no crochet. No. We used to we used to ha- in we did a freaking. I don't know what? if anyone remembers this Paper in school. Mache. No, a toilet roll, and then you got paddle pop sticks around it. Yes, What's and that you do? had to. It's it's literally. I swear, everyone did it in primary school. No, obviously not. Yeah, okay, well, okay, no worries. You went at Highgate Primary, were you? Um, so toilet roll or. Yeah. Was it a toilet roll? Yeah, it usually was a toilet roll. It was basically like a wooden circle cylinder thingy. And then you got paddle pop sticks and stuck them on the outside. And then yeah. you'd go like with your wool piece, you'd tie it and then you'd stitch it in the way out of the paddle pop sticks and whatever around. And then you'd, it'd end up coming out of the toilet roll because nah. you'd have this big thing. Never and then did that. Oh. The fuck is that? That was crocheting. It was great. Okay, we're back okay. to the story. Um, <laughs> wow. I love doing that, but crocheting is a hobby. Mm-mm. Crocheting in year six? Yes. Um, I started doing... It about six or seven years ago to cope with my anxiety. Okay, now I feel so fucking bad. I should have read the first <laughs> that sentence first. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Leah. Fuck. Wow. And the asshole. Yeah. Um, okay, firstly, crochet all you want. <laughs> I appreciate that. Over time, I've become pretty good at it and have done a few commissions for small things. Go and make money. Great. I recently opened my own website where I post patterns and tips for free. I'm such an asshole for saying that at the start. Sorry, sorry, my crafty friend. Um, sometimes I sell some things on there that I made that I would ke- wouldn't keep or I'd give away, but in general, I don't actively sell my stuff. Mm-hmm. I have a friend, Lynn, who's always asking me to make her stuff. I have made her a scarf and a hat set and gifted her a baby blanket for her rainbow baby, all which have been for free. She asked me to make more complicated stuff for her, like cardigans and... I don't know how to say that. And complex blankets, which <laughs> I always say no to because as much as I love Lynn, she's very demanding and I do do this just for fun. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed giving her gifts, but I don't like feeling obliged to do that. It takes me a while to finish complex things and I know she would be, wouldn't be would be okay waiting more than a week. Lynn sounds like a mole. Um, recently, I posted a patchwork cardigan that I made and Lynn texted me asking me to make one for her. I said no because it took me almost a month to finish and I had other things that I wanted to make. She asked me if she could pay for it and if if she paid, then I would make her one. I told her that based on the cost of materials and the hourly wage for a skilled labor, it would cost around $400. She said that was ridiculous. There's no way that cardigan would be worth $400. I told her, I agree, but that's why I usually don't like to take commissions on stuff because I'd rather give away the stuff I make. She told me that I was being greedy. Realistically, if I took a commission for this cardigan, I'd likely charge around $75, which is three times the cost of materials, and give around a two-month timeline. But I want to deter her from asking again. Am I the asshole for quoting for her such a high price? No. Ne- yeah, I, this is... <laughs> <laughs> I agree, no. No. Not a chance. It's like, and it's, like if you're going to get something like homemade and from a friend as well, pay the lady. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't be. Gre- I think Lynn's being greedy. Yeah, and it's also like she's made you a baby blanket, and she's made you like a scarf and a hat set. Like, how much more crocheting shit do you need? What are you <laughs> going to be some yeah. fucking wool lady? Like, you don't no, need that. Yeah, no. you don't need a cardigan. No. That's enough. It's also like very interesting because she's uh, kind of like I would assume that that Lynn would be like probably the kind of person to be like give it to me for free. Yeah, and I like what. What do you think about mm. friends? <laughs> buying or wanting things for free from your business. I don't love it. Yeah. I don't think we have anyone that does that to us. I think there's like, everyone is very like... I don't think we do now. I think there's definitely been some people along the way, but I don't like it because I think like my biggest frustration is when people say, oh, I'll just come to your house and give you cash for this or you can just give me that for free. It's like 
my stock is not at my house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, My yeah. stock costs me money. Yeah. And I get, okay, maybe I don't need to put as much of a margin on it. But yeah, I don't I don't love that kind of side. That's the yeah. awkward side, I think. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. I think if roles were reversed, if I had, I don't have a plumber friend, but for example, if I asked you to come and do come something, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Build my house for a month, you'd charge me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. So oh, again, not the same or similar, yeah. but yeah. It's awkward. I it's think. almost a different type. Like I think there's certain people that I'd be like, "Here, have this. Absolutely, you can do that." Like if my like but then, mom or sister was yeah. like, "Can I have this?" I'm like, "Yeah, absolutely." But like, mm. I think it depends on the again. It depends on the person. Like if you have a Lynn versus I if you agree. have someone who's supported you heaps and heaps yeah. and heaps, and then you're just like, "Here, have like a." Hot I agree, or and and I I have done that with some, let's say friends being like, "But oh, I'll pay you for a hot chocolate." I'm like, "No, no, no like I'm happy to give you one." Yeah, but I'm not giving you bloody year supply. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? 100%. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy for you to try it. Yeah, totally. But you like it, you like it. You yeah. like it. But also if I have a friend. You know where to find the website. Yeah. <laughs> if I have a friend, <laughs> I like, I will make it like a go out of my way on their launch day. I'll like buy a bunch of stuff or like do whatever. Because I'm like, I just don't want you to feel like. It's amazing how rare that is. Yeah. And I think a lot of people in business really come to that realization. I yeah. think, especially if you're young, or naive to business. A lot of people are like, yeah, my friends and family are going to support me and mm. buy my stuff yeah. and then they don't. And then you're like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. But like, Do you I know think- what I mean? And that that's yeah. reality. But also like on the contrary, you can't just go spend 300 bucks a month or a week on just supporting on random friends. Sh- yeah, so how is that? Yeah. I think it goes both yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah. It definitely, it definitely goes both ways. But I think if you can make an effort to even just like share their stuff or like a comment or comment mm. on their post or whatever, it doesn't have to buy stuff, but just like a, a different way of supporting, like that's still think, just yeah. as important, it's I think. A bit, a bit tight in Australia, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Called, called yeah, syndrome. it is. But I think like, I don't know. I think uh, like I would obviously always do that, but that, that lady just seems like a, a bit of a yeah, loser. I agree. I think the most beautiful thing about <laughs> people think I love. I do love America, <laughs> but I follow do. a lot of people that would have a supplement company and then shout out their friends who also have a supplement company. Like, I oh, fucking for example, I love your greens. It's like, but they have a supplement company like in Australia. Yeah. That would never happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never. Yeah. So if you then, have if you have a friend who has a small business, support them. Who cares if you're in the same give industry? Give them a big share or like or you know we have we have clothing. I love. Jay's sister, Alicia, she's also got clothing. Like, Love. It's not taking away from a dollar that we're trying to make. No, nope, she's There's the enough money in the world, enough 100%. people in the world. Totally. I think that there's just that, there's that, there's that weird, it is weird. And like I was actually talking to Charles about it the other day because like we are having the bear project that coming is coming yeah. up and I, I had to ask Charles to quote this huge project and it's like, it won't be a little bit of money. But also Charles didn't want, Charles felt awkward on the other end being like, yeah. I don't actually want to quote you. A lot of money. A lot of money because yeah. I feel a bit guilty about that. And I said to him, I was like, but Charles, you like... It's your business. It's your business. You, If you want to give me a fucking one video discount, sure. If you want to do that, that's okay. But don't. I don't want you to feel pressure in doing mm. that because I'm asking you to provide me a service. Like mm-hmm. I'm not asking you to come over to my house and give me like just but, hang out. Yeah. Like you're coming with your camera gear. You're coming with like yeah. your editing time and all that kind of stuff. Like I respect your... And I think the you know? worst thing that he could do, not say he doesn't do this, but for example, if he gave us such a discount that then he came on those days and was grumpy about those days because he's like, well, I could be elsewhere making yeah, more money. Yeah, or I could do something else, yeah. And he's doing himself or his business a, a, disservice. a disservice. Yeah, I would just, I'd just rather is, appreciate it. Is, it's friends in like, business is, is very It's a very fine awkward. Line. Yeah, unless you're like, and with Charles, like, I asked, when I spoke to him the other day, he was like, yeah, I did feel a bit awkward. Like, I'm just going to be honest with you. I felt a bit awkward. Yeah. I was like, don't, please, like, if your quote is so ridiculously high, yeah. we'll just, we'll work it out. Like I'll have to be like, you know what? Let's go, like maybe we need less videos. Maybe it's yeah. less time or maybe we don't need yeah. that sort of camera. Like how can we like, you know, do, and he was like, yeah, that's like, I, I like that we can have that conversation. Yeah. I was like, yeah, but that's taken four years like, for us to get to that point. Yeah, I but, agree. So then on the fly, if we did a little, am I the asshole? If someone was looking for a job yeah, and you had a position available. Mm, fuck that that person wanted and they were a friend and or family. And we said, sorry, we don't hire friends or family. Mm. Am I the asshole? No. I, I agree. No, I, I just don't like mixing It the would two. feel very uncomfortable. Like for yeah. me, I'd be How like... How are you going to tell that person off? Or not like, again, not tell them off, but be like, hey. 100%. That shouldn't have been done that way. 100%. We need to do this. Yeah. And like, I, I have the same fear, being honest, that 
if like let's just say your mum wanted to do picking and packing. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, she does. And she and fu- mum wants and she mum's, does. Yeah, mum's like, I'm and coming on Monday. And let's just say she like, fucks up an order. Yeah. I mean, that she m- would already feel so bad. Yeah. How are you going to go, mum? Yeah. You, that's just. You fuck this person. Do you know what I mean? Like, like that yeah. would be hard. Yeah. It, it really would and be. And I'm not saying no. Like, yeah. I'm, do you know what I mean? Anna's helped us with a lot of stuff, but like that would be mm. hard it to is. have a conversation like that and be like, that wasn't. Yeah, like you, you shouldn't have done that. And yeah. But then like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, get it, I get it. I get it. It's really hard. And it's like, it's, I don't think it, it, it would be hard for the friend to understand why you'd like, why not? Because they'd be like, it'd be easy. Like, but you'd be like, but if something goes wrong, mm. which it's likely it's to at some you. point. It's on me. Yeah. It's like, you don't want to go in there and be like, look, like, it's just not working. Like, how the fuck are you going to say that to a friend? And then it would just always forever be awkward afterwards. Yeah. Like, not with my mum, obviously, because like, I can say whatever I want to my mum and she can say whatever she wants to me, but still it would be an uncomfortable conversation if she does something wrong. But imagine if every month she was messing up. She's not going to, I'm just saying. Every every week she's just messing up like 100 orders, you'd be like, fucking hell. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just kind of like... It's It's funny because we can joke about you. Yeah, yeah, mum would never, but it's like... Mum, no, pre- of- mum would be the fucking opposite and be like, no, I checked this and I looked at this and then I'd, I ticked this off and my mum, it's been five hours and you fucking packed she the order, She's very organised. Like, yeah, She's very organised. Like, yeah. I've, I've, yeah. I've taken a photo of it and then yeah. I sent the photo to your phone. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's probably a bad example. But yeah, I yeah. Uh, fine line. Friends in business is t- is hard. Mm. I would hate it. And we've, I don't like, we've dipped our toes in a few circumstances. Mm. And Charles is different. We became friends after filming. So yeah, that's, yeah. that's very different, but. But yeah, even then, like we, been... we use, we, like Charles is a photographer and videographer, but I use Hayley for, for, for photos because yeah. she does a lot of fashion. She yeah. does a lot. Of, I, I, I love her photos. Yeah. Getting Hayley, I felt so awkward for telling Charles, Charles yeah. to be like, I'm so sorry. And Charles was like, it's fine. I, like, I love doing video. And I was like, <laughs> like, yeah. so awkward. Yeah. But it's that, and that, it wouldn't be like that if he wasn't a friend. No, like, I agree. Yeah. It's such an awkward thing. But anyway, this lady, we got on a tangent, but that lady, not an asshole. Lynn, Lynn's the asshole, yep. Lynn's the mole. Um, let's go into this one's a bit. This one's a bit crude. We'll do the rude one last. Oh, okay. She says no, not rude. She says a naughty word. Okay. So, well, the title is the horny mum, the horny wife. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go through that one last. Okay. <laughs> this one is a. This one's a, a good one because I guess we're in this one. This one um is from someone. That's written in to us, which is great. Ooh, I love this. We would ne- the pressure's on. No, it's not. This this is an easy one. Oh, okay. This is a oh, she, are, not the are asshole. Are you going to get Dude, any this is, well, remotely this one's, this, one's really, this one's really funny, but... No, it's hard because you don't really, like, it's... it's. Am I the asshole? What's the usually? point of asking, am I the asshole? If they're not the asshole. Because some people really disagree sometimes. Anyways, anyways. Yeah, well, they need right. to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. I am pregnant with baby number two. Oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> not this, not the lady. Was this, did Rach write in? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rach, did you, my husband didn't get up last night. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so I'm pregnant with baby number two, and my mother-in-law is constantly, since the minute we told my family I'm pregnant, she comments on my weight. Oh. Her response to t- her t- to us telling that we were pregnant was, "I could tell you put on weight. You looked a bit pudgy." This is real. This is real. Oh. Yeah. So I ignored that. Rough. A week later, at 15 weeks pregnant, she said, as in she's just done quotations, in quotations, I can't believe how big you are. I walked away. A fortnight later, <laughs> the nerve. In, in quotations again, wow, you really are big. And someone else spoke and changed the subject. And I spoke to my husband in confidence and asked him to please tell her to stop commenting. And he just said, that's like, he disagreed and said, oh, she's just negative. Like, she's just, just negative. Oh. Another fortnight later, in quotations, your tummy is just so big. I'm just growing a fucking eye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she turned around and said, I turned around and, and this time in front of my husband and sister-in-law and said, well, I heard you do show more on your second pregnancy. However, my problem is that I have a rude mother-in-law. So she said that to her mother-in-law. With her she husband, said that out loud? With her husband and her sister-in-law in the same room. Mm-hmm. Rock on. She said, I hate being the one that snaps, but we've since been left out of usual family events that we would all celebrate together and invite each other to. I don't think my sister-in-law has been, has judged me for this mm-hmm. as she has been subjected, sorry, to her mother's comments through her life and pregnancy. But she feels like she she has now put a wave of negativity into her husband's family. Yeah. Am I the asshole? No. Nah. I'm with you. Ugh. 
What no. the fuck is wrong oh, with people? I would have been way more aggressive. Yeah, I think firstly, I think I think <laughs> you're not, not cool. the asshole, but you're also your husband needs to say something. Yeah, like she's just negative. Okay, yeah. and her negativity needs to fucking shut up. Like not just that, but I think maybe if you're naive about like females and pregnancy the first time around, I think you, yeah. there's a bit more of a gray area to be naive. But the second time around, you should very well understand yeah. how self-conscious you would be about your yeah, belly and you second feel. pregnancy being bigger and then yeah. other people's comments because this is your second time around. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's got a man up. He and no, this, she's not the asshole. No, she, it's not her and she's definitely not put a wave across that family, but I do think there is... What wave? She's already negative. Yeah, yeah, as in, yeah, she's, yeah, it's already her. Like, I definitely, know, I don't think that if it was me and... I just wouldn't go. I'd stop going to those things. Same. Dinners. I'd be I like, you know what, mentally, yeah, I'm not into it. Like, I'm not in, I'm not in that. There, there's, there's no do you know what positive we, for that. What we do, and I'm not saying that we relate, but if we ever have negative people around us, Leah and I just close Literally. our mouths and remove ourselves from the situation. Yeah. Yeah. It's just much easier and we'll just hang out and be like, be by ourselves and it's so much better. It's so much better. Yeah, that or like if we don't like what people are saying, we just won't get involved. No. It's just not worth your mental capacity, no. to be honest. But I think that if like my my mum or like mm-hmm. whatever was saying something to me like that, or, but it is a mother-in-law, so it's different, but like... I'd just be like, fucking end. Like, I, I would, I'd be upset at you if you didn't say something. Yeah. I think I would. Like, as yeah. a, as a, like a yeah. pregnant person, I'd be like, say something to him. And you, or she's just negative. Like, okay, she's awful to me, and that makes me feel. So either we're not going, or you yeah, can I say agree. something. That's I what agree. I would be like. Yeah. If, well, you want me to go? I'll fucking sit on this chair and I'll, like, I'll just do I this. agree. I mean, sometimes Mitch try, tries to lift me up, and I just stiffen up like this. <laughs> and it's really hard to pick me up. So that's what I would do. I would. Be, I agree. A, be a plank because I don't know. Yeah. I'm not going. I'm not no, going to subject myself to your like. You know, that's rough. That's so rough. Who hard does, enough. Firstly, rowing. Yeah. As it, do you know what I mean? Like, Literally. pregnancy's hard enough. You don't need people's shit along the way. Yeah, no. Nah. But people, it would be like, and it it used to like really well. Now, 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 not too bad because I feel like I'm getting back into it. But like, even to this day, people still comment comment about me and my weight and mm-hmm. blah blah blah. And I'm like, oh, fucking grow up. Like, mm. if that's the only thing that you can possibly, like, hold on to, like, just fucking get a grip, you know? Yeah. People... Like, wow, how, I can't believe how big you are. Yeah. There's Which... a fucking... <laughs> I was about to say a fungus. There's something in my stomach. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, there's something in there. That's why it's big. <laughs> what the fuck yeah. else do you want me to do? People just need to mind their own business. Literally. Mind your business. Oh, yeah. And use your manners. Yeah. That's right. Use your manners and don't be talking about anybody. So let me tell you, this person, these not your are also, fault. Um, oh, sorry to cut you off. These are also like, not that they're close to home. Like we don't have issues like this, but I mean like every family has. 100%. You know what I mean? And it's, like, it's a, that thing, that Somewhere that where that thing. has happened yeah. or something similar has happened. Like it's just so I also it's feel so like, funny. I don't want to say it because it might come out differently, but it might be a generational thing. Like my, I think so. Like my mum still, and like I love my mum to death, but she's like, Oh, you you know, fucking, what does she say? She says, don't drink soy milk because it's got something in it. Don't and drink, it'll, yeah, yeah or whatever it is. And I'm just like, where'd you, where'd you hear that? She's like, oh, like, I don't know. But it was like, it's something yeah. that she heard from her parent or whatever it was. Yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. like, that is such a, like, that's not even, that's not true. We know that now. Like, yeah. drop that, like, yeah. thought about it. Or mum be like, oh, we'll eat breakfast. Mm-hmm. And then it'll be lunchtime. Me and Mitch, I'm starving. Mum's like, oh, but we've, we've had breakfast. I'm like, bitch, the f-. yeah, it was, that, that was three hours ago. I'm starving again. She's like, I just don't understand how you. I'm, I'll, I'll be fine till dinner time. I'm like, that's not normal. You, <laughs> you call bro, like fucking six story. I will eat at least six times before dinner time, and then when I'm here, you best feed me at six pm. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like that's definitely a generational thing. That she, that her, that mum probably got that stuff. Mm-hmm. Like that, you know. Yeah. As long as you don't. I think then, as the generations, and not really to do with what you're saying about your mum at all, but like, as the generations have gone on, I think we're more like open to yeah. change. Whereas the, like the older generations are more stuck in their yeah, ways. Like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I would never do that. Or no, you can't drink soft drink with yeah, dinner yeah, yeah. Or, or whatever it is. You know, now it's a bit more. Yeah, we're all just kind of like just being like, you know yeah. what? It is what it is. So I, th- I think that, that comment is probably a very, you know, generational sort of thing. Yeah. Um, don't worry about it. You probably look amazing. Well, you don't probably. You look amazing because you're growing a human. So That's don't right. stress about that. This one's actually, I don't, this one's, I don't understand it, but we're gonna, I'm going to read is this it a, out. A, a written in? This is a written in. Oh, shit. Yeah, so 
but it's not really, it's a bit of a weird one but it's actually quite funny um i just have to understand it because the way she's written it, it's like she's written it qu- like kind of quickly so i'm like trying to like do you want us to put the viewers on hold we can play no 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 no, no i just need to <laughs> no 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 i'm ready so this is yeah from someone who's written in she said this one time my now ex-boyfriend was talking to random girls live on this app that you could do live videos and random people would interact with you and he denied it every time I asked. Okay, that makes sense. Because I read I read on live and I was like, how did you not know he was going live? If you like, As not in Instagram live, but how would you not know? But yeah. sorry, that so he's on a specific app, like probably, yeah. I don't know what they are, but... Oh, I don't like where this is going. I if, made a fake account and was... what? Well, I don't know. I made a fake account and I was watching the entire interaction and heard that they were talking about me and him saying a bunch of things, making fun of me with them in, a, in that way. And in that way. So one day he went live. So instead of just staying in the comments again, they mentioned me again. So I requested to go live with my fake account. (laughs) And then once he saw my face on camera, his face turned 10 different shades. (laughs) (laughs) I said my side of the story and then everyone started making fun of him. Am I the asshole? (laughs) No, that's pretty funny though. It's so funny. Can you imagine? That's (laughs) hectic. That's crazy. But why the fuck was your boyfriend going on live? I'm very confused with that. Hang on. Yeah, okay. That's weird. I just think that is, that's funny. That's funny. I like how his, his face turned 10 different. <laughs> yeah, I'd do that. I mean, if I was her. <laughs> that's really funny. I don't, is there honestly a case where people don't agree yeah. with the answers? No, there 100% is. Because they'll be like. I would like to sit in a room with those people. Yeah. And because there's not, so yeah. there was, I, I did read one the other not night. Not even to argue. I just want to hear your point of view because in my head, I'm like 100% I don't agree with yeah, how one, there could yeah, be an opposite. I completely agree. There was like this one that I read the other night and I had to read it like twice because I was like, are you, this is, this surely is. And she was like, am I the asshole? Everyone was like, yes, yes, you are. You're a fucking complete mole. What the fuck is that? So she wrote, it was, and I, obviously this was at 3 a.m. when Gigi was like, I was holding her. So I was like trying to understand. I'm pretty sure it was like she, she was with her husband and then her um they both have separate partners, but they both have kids from a different relationship. So they both have one kid from each relationship yep. and now they're there together. So they've got two, each one has a stepchild, I guess. Yep. So they've got two children and they obviously do week on, week off and custody and whatever. But then though these two have had a child together. So they've got a child together, yep. a stepchild on one side and a stepchild on the other side. Yep. Does that make sense? So there's yeah. three kids in total. So three kids in total. So the mum, <laughs> so the mum, the lady in this oh, I feel like I was saying this, that she would cook dinner and she was really frustrated oh, no. that the husband's daughter would eat. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> right? And she was like, Excuse oh, and language. then after dinner, because like apparently she was like, you know, she might have been four or five years old and she was just always hungry. She was like, she's always hungry. She's always wanting fruit. She's always wanting a biscuit or something, blah, blah, blah. And I just can't keep up. And, we, you know, our grocery bill was getting higher and higher because of her, blah, blah. And I was like, and you would only have her for, let's say, 26 weeks of the year. Yeah, a week on, a week, week off on, or whatever. Week off. And she was like complaining. So she goes, I've now, we've now resorted, we've now, as in the husband, yeah. now resorted to putting a lock on the fridge. But so she, her, so the no daughter can't just way. go and get some grapes or go and get, so she needs to ask and they need to time out her food because she's eating too much. What about her daughter with the other person? Oh, she can do whatever she wants. And the kid that have to get it, whatever she wants, just no, because. That's not on. There's not a world where that's on. <sighs> Literally, I was like, my blood was boiling when I was reading it. I was like, how could you genuinely think that? And every single person was like, you need to be called into like ch- fucking child services. Yeah. Like, how could you yeah. actually think that that's normal? Like I get, you know, not making your kid feel sick because they, they're literally eating so much, they're going to vomit. That's but like, completely different. If your kid wants a fucking snack. like, Nah, that's not cool. That's not cool. Yuck. Like, and I, but I was like, that, hus- that husband, if I, if, you like, if, we, if I had another child and you were mm-hmm. treating that child awfully, I'd be like, like yeah, that's I, just gross. I agree with that. I think, and I, I obviously we don't have kids with other people, yeah. but I look at like Jay for example, and take my hat off to him. And yeah, not as in not take my hat off because this is what he's doing what he should do. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but like how good he is with Anna. Yeah, as let's just say an, another father figure. Yeah, um, is is really good, and I I just don't understand people that. Do you know what I mean? Like because yeah. it's not physically your yeah. child. You can't because, treat them differently. No. Like you should embrace them just as much as if they were your own. Like <laughs> I actually have a video of yesterday, Anna, saying that she was really upset because 
She wants Kayla, to marry Jay. Yeah, because Kayla's going to marry Jason. And I want to marry Jay because he loves me the most. And I was like, uh-huh. Anna. And then she was she was sad because she couldn't get out of her sadness and she couldn't stop feeling so sad. So then Jay had to But that's the thing, that like, okay. <laughs> for example, obviously it's, you know, Jay and Kayla, the prime example, but like, you know what you're signing up for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's yeah, not like have, it's it just popped out of nowhere. And these are children. These yes. are kids. They don't have a you choice. You are the adult. They're fucking hungry. They're hungry. Big deal. Act mm. like an adult. Literally. I was like, ever, so everyone literally like absolutely hammered her and then mm. she like was like, edit, okay, I understand that. Like it was, you know, the wrong thing to do. We've now like tried to like, you know, renegotiate how we're going to like have the house or whatever. I was like, oh, you're just the worst human. Anyway, gross. Um, I'm going to read... We've been going for 45 minutes. That's pretty great. good. Let's go the last one. Okay. You're going to have to... Um, oh, there's one more. There's one more. The horny wife. I, th- I thought the last one was the horny mother wife No, thing. no, no, oh, no. No, you're talking about fucking online lives. Fuck. Yeah, that was... That, oh, <laughs> is that what you were thinking before? No, no. Okay, Wait, so... Wait, so what was he doing? This just is normal life. Just talking on live. Oh, so random. That like, Wow. Yeah, you're not the asshole. Anyway, end of another. that story. She's not the asshole. That's hilarious that you did that online. Yeah. I would do the same. So... This one is a bit. Is know, someone write this in? No, this oh, is this yeah. is from online. So, excuse online. my French, even though I've been swearing this whole time. So, the horny wife. Mm. Last one. So, my husband mm. has just spent two months in a different state for work. He came back nine days ago. I'm obviously thrilled that he's back, and I've missed him a lot. I was hoping we would just be able to spend some time together, just the two of us. Mm -hmm. However, (laughs) I'm a good storyteller, aren't I? (laughs) However, his mum came over (laughs) when he was supposed to come home. I was slightly annoyed, but I know that she was just excited to have her son back. However, she never left. Uh -uh. Like, I was prepared to deal with her being there for a day or two, but Mm -hmm. not nine days, nine whole days. Because she's been here for nine days, we haven't had a second of time together. She insists on staying here instead of a hotel. For the record, she lives an hour away. Only an hour, an hour's drive. That's not that bad. The guest room is right next to ours and the walls... An hour away, mate. Go home. Yeah. And the walls are paper thin. When the two of us go out, she comes with us or makes one of us stay with her at home because otherwise we will be... Bad hosts, yeah. quote unquote bad hosts. She follows us around the house constantly. <laughs> and while we want to cuddle and watch a movie, like watch a movie on the couch, she's sitting right next to us in the armchair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This would be me with Gigi. I was just right? about to say, <laughs> I'm going to agree with her, but I know that I would do this to Gigi. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. We want to go to a romantic restaurant. Better make that a table for three. We, he- we have even left her in the living room to go chat in our room and she follows us. <laughs> Earlier today, I just asked her to leave, <laughs> even though the both of us had been hinting that she needs to yeah. go home. Yeah. She kept saying she wasn't ready to go yet and wanted more time with her son. I tried telling her they wanted some alone time and she kept assist- insisting that she'd join, she'd join us. <laughs> just laughing because I think of Gigi. Oh, finally, I snapped and said, Sim, sing. Since you seem to be oblivious, I'll put it bluntly. I'd like to fuck your son. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to see or hear, then you need to go. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, I told you it's not good. Um, and she goes, okay, in brackets, okay, this is her editing it like as a comment. She goes, okay, I know this isn't the classiest response ever, but I was really frustrated. <laughs> and then she kept going. Anyway, she yelled at me and eventually left. Finally, we got to have our alone time. But now she's blowing up both of our phones saying that I'm disgusting and I have no respect for her or her son or myself. <laughs> she keeps telling my husband that she, she, she that he shouldn't be with someone so crude and how dare he let her speak to me like that. I'm sure you get the idea. Like, I know that what I said was really inappropriate, but am I the asshole? <laughs> nah. No. I think it's pretty funny I think what she said. I think it's so funny what Savage, she said. but... 100%. Yeah, nah. You just have to, as, like, as a human. I think most people would agree with her. Yeah. But on the contrary, I would be that mother. Do, as in, yeah. Gigi comes <laughs> home. On the armchair, just sitting there. Hi, guys. <laughs> I would be, Gigi would be sitting on my lap. Yeah, that would be me cooking <laughs> dinner for them. 
<laughs> she dinner. Mandy's back. <laughs> Mandy's here. <laughs> and she's staying. Um, she actually wrote something as an edit. She wrote, edit. After reading these comments, because obviously people were saying, not the asshole. Um, she goes, after reading these comments, I'll definitely let my husband know he needs to step, step up. I, re- I agree that it should have been him who said something. Said something. Yeah. Um, I love him to death and want to be accommodating to his fear of making her angry. However, he needs to set the boundaries. So yep. that's what I was about to say. Like, I yep. feel like it wouldn't, yeah. it just would be hard. I I am so good. What are you laughing at? It's just funny <laughs> it's what just... she said. It's funny. <laughs> it's so... <laughs> I, but I think I set, in our family, we have really good boundaries as in like, I didn't want to leave home. Like I was yeah. crying my when we first moved out of house, I cried for like three whole weeks being like, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. And now I literally will call mom I'm like, mom, I made some dumplings, but um, can you pick them up and then go back to your house? <laughs> she's like, what? And I was like, I actually don't want people over tonight, but I want you to eat these dumplings. They're really good. And she's like, so, so you're inviting me to dinner and then giving me the dinner and then going, making me go home? And I was like, yep. And then, or I ring her at 4.30. Well, we, we ring her at 4.30 and we're like, hey, um, what are you doing for dinner? Mum's like, oh, well, I've just planned some like whatever. And um, me and Mitch like, okay, cool. So we got burgers. Come in and cook them at your house. I'm going to get my house dirty. And then we'll leave. <laughs> She's like, okay. <laughs> we, do it, we do it at least three times a week that we at go least, there, take least. our shit there. But it's not Absolute tornado. really the issue of like getting our house dirty. It's just more being around people. Yeah, it's just which fun. Is fun. But it also I can't be bothered cleaning up and mum just helps me when I, as, as I go around. And it's nice to have Gigi just yeah, run around. But that is... The funniest story that I've read in a while. That was fucking hilarious. That was a good one. I I think not the asshole. Savage though. But I agree. also I agree. ballsy though. Mm. I would shit myself. I would just be like, this is fine. <laughs> it's so fun. Good on her. Appreciate that. Yeah, good on the confidence of that. I agree. That's what I think I would it would be just mm-mm. nine days is a lot. And the thing is, yeah, like I didn't want to move out of home, but now I'm like, I love just sitting on the fucking couch with silence. Yeah. But I do I love being around like a lot of people. Like I like having family Yeah, dinners. but not 24-7. I think it's one of those things that once you move out of home, you're like, I really appreciate alone time. Yeah. But then you appreciate going to your family's house and you appreciate spending time and then you go and then you spend yeah, time. I agree. And then you go. I agree. Because you spend like yeah. intentional quality time Correct. rather than like... Which is perfect. So yeah. I think there was a, there was a time... Was it when Anna was born that we literally were had dinner every freaking night for two years? At Kayla's house? Yeah. yeah. Five to seven nights a week, I'd say. Every night. Uh, yeah, at least five, I would at say. At a minimum. Because yeah. we, we would drive down every night yeah. from like where we live to them. Yeah. It was unreal. And now it's probably like two to three? Mm. Depending. Yeah, more like, yeah, two, two to three. Two, two, three. Like tonight, me, like tonight, me and Mitch having pizzas. We're doing, oh, we're doing Gosney pizzas. And we're freaking excited. Um, and I'm like, do we invite them? Because if we don't, that's mean. If Why we do... It, how does it mean? Oh, it's not mean, but they're going to see because wouldn't you want delicious pizza? Well, you're going to have it. <laughs> yeah. It's so, yeah, I'm so torn. I like, love spending time with everyone, but then there's also just nights where I just want to eat my food, and lay on the couch, couch yeah. and just not hear anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know what I mean? Like... Well, now, actually, you know what? We're going to talk about. We're going to talk about something really quickly. If you <laughs> if you've watched Blacklist, or you're not finishing Blacklist yet, have you guys watched it at all? You like watching it? Are you, wait, have you finished it? Do have, you want? Do you care if I spoil this? Okay, really? Because let me tell you, because I, <laughs> I just needed to get that out. I need to get this out off my chest. <laughs> Okay, firstly. Okay, I'm telling you right now, this is going to be a spoiler. Can I just say the way that you are jumping around in this episode is really not going to help. Your uh, DMs when people say you have ADHD. Oh, I know. Fuck them. Um, <laughs> we'll get to that as well. well I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover that too. <laughs> How much time you got? Hang on. Wait. First, we'll go blacklist spoiler, and then we'll talk about my my problems. Yeah. Blacklist spoiler. If you, uh, yeah, don't get mad at me. Okay, I'm spoiling it right now. Skip so thirty if seconds. You, yeah, if you don't want to hear it. Yeah. Skip. Jog on. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Uh, the ending. I'm so angry at that. Can you explain? Okay, Raymond Reddington. Okay, who is the 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 Main character in this thing. I won't tell. I won't say how he died because that's. Just, I don't want to spoil that. But he, he no, ends up dying. You, you said spoiler alert. No, but I'll just no, say no, he died. Fucking give it away. No, but the because thing it's is, ridiculous. And he's been on the run for let's say so ten seasons. Yep, ten seasons. Twenty two episodes in a season. This guy is like the the highest. What's it called? The, criminal. No, no, no. He's like the most wanted, most wanted criminal across the United States. Blah blah, blah whatever. He has 
all these things, all these people hate. He's been like tortured. He's been all these fucking things. To, and he just doesn't to die. To die? Yeah, he doesn't die at anything. And then there's the secret about who he actually is, which I don't think we ended up even finding out. And then he dies by a fucking bull. Like a bull. Like a, a rodeo bull. Like, a ro- like someone charges at him. Charges, are you for real? When you could have someone just... That was a very bad ending. It pissed me off to like no end because I was like, you uh, like, there's no and way that I just wasted it abruptly. Like, there yeah. actually wasn't a... He wrestler could have been like, is he alive? Is he not? Like nothing, da, 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 nothing. nothing. Done. That's it. See ya. I was like, two years of my goddamn life have I longer than two years? Mm. It's been like five. Mm. <laughs> the, yeah, and it's uh, yeah probably, and it's that's just that's bullshit. Anyway, let's quickly go about this fucking ADHD thing. I'm <laughs> sick of it. I'm I'm done with it. I am so over it. Yeah. Stop labeling me. Just let me live my life. <laughs> fucking hell. What's wrong with it? I'm chaotic, yes. I'm loud, yes. Do I have ADHD? No. Have I been tested? Yes. <laughs> and guess what? Came up negative. Goose egg. Let me, just let me live. Goose egg. Let me live. It comes up all the time. Did I tell the story last week about how you had a, someone message in, be like, hey, Leah, I'm on the Zoom, and you weren't even in the office or something. The I was fuck is she? floating. Who <laughs> cares where I'm I was. on the Zoom whenever you're ready. Okay. And then... And then we actually were talking about this the next day. So it was too far gone. I was like, wait, are you going to get back to it? What the Mate, fuck? He rang me before. <laughs> Did I answer? Christ. No. No, no we, I booked another thing with him. Don't worry. It's all right. It's all good. He, he skipped it on me the week before, so I was just paying him back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but to be fair, I actually dis- I actually want to say, like, I don't I don't think I have ADHD. I just... I just like, I do, I drink pre's like I'm before I'm here. And I've had pre's already in the morning. I've had like four coffees. I'm hyped as fuck. And I'm just a bit chaotic. Yeah, That's I all right. That's I, it. I don't know. I, I wouldn't go as far as saying you have ADHD. No, I just and I think hate. You have bad organization. 100%. Bad habits is what I think. But the thing is, like, when and you a say. Bad that, attitude. It's, yeah, but, the, but yeah, fucking oath. But when people say that, it's acting as if people with ADHD, there's something bad about them. Yeah. Who, like, and? Do you know what, what one we, thing like, I didn't like about school, right? is if you are struggling to learn, yeah, right, and you go to those, I forget what they're called, but like the extra help classes. 100%, I was in them. That's labelled as a bad thing. Yeah, and you just need a bit more. But it's more. like if you, gen, like I, I don't have any learning difficulties myself, but if I had ADHD or dyslexia or I was struggling to read, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's not my fault. Yeah. It's not anyone's fault. It's like just. But pe- when people are like, I really think that you Let's should go get medicated. Better. I'm like, but I feel like I'm fine. I'm I'm thriving. I'm I'm I feel like I'm a great member of society. I don't yeah. like that. Not that people with ADHD no. aren't. Like, no, no, I can see both deal? sides. So again, not, can you really? not no, 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 no. Not to say it's a bad thing for you. I'm saying I don't if think it's you a bad were, thing at all. No, no. But if you were struggling, yeah, 100%. then absolutely go get tested. Go get medicated. If you're struggling to like, if you had an, a thesis to write and you were struggling to concentrate or you just couldn't get it done, then obviously there's problems. But like, yeah. But it's you know not I mean? a bad like, thing. And people no. like that, but they're saying it in such a negative light that I'm like, okay, what would you like me to do? Like, mm. oh, thank you for that. <laughs> and now what? Like, uh, there's nothing wrong with it. And Sometimes even if it's it was, just showbiz, baby. That's it. That's just, you know just I mean? that's what it is. That's right. And if I want to, like, just be chaotic, just let me live my mm. life. And then, and then come in and say, I told you so later. <laughs> like, oh, so this episode's a bit of a, I think I'm going to go with ADHD now. Okay. But you know what I mean? Like, while we've got everyone in the room, Johnny Depp, Amber Heard, who's the asshole? Oh, Mitch has been into it. Like, Because so, <laughs> it's on Netflix at the moment. Yeah. But like, and we that, just watched the three episodes. It was three months ago. Six it months ago. It was actually ago. longer. year ago. Yeah, that's what I mean. Then he was like, why are you concentrating on this? I was like, because I have seen this on TikTok. Nah, look, I'm so not going to take times. a side. I think they're both as bad as yeah, each other. Yeah, I agree. In, in, I agree. I think there was lots of lies, but lots of like, Lots of things. Yeah, he may not have, like, let's say, physically abused her, but yeah. I definitely think there was... Who bloody knows? Who You would never know. You would never agree. know, but I just think... But I it, also think, like, it would be hard to be that famous. Yeah. Do you know, and again, it's a double-edged sword. Like, Mm-mm. do you know what I mean? I think like, the media I'm not, I'm really not excusing played. what he... No, anything, no, no. Any of his actions, but I'm just saying, mm-hmm. imagine not being able to go to the supermarket... Mm. By yourself yeah. and, and without like get an orange of, without yeah. security without like there are a lot of daily things that you would have to give up if you were a Johnny Depp yeah it's feels or even Amber Heard to a degree no, but fuck yeah I don't, I don't it's even it's a very different life it is but I feel like the media like TikTok went off when that was happening so like who yeah, probably who, shouldn't have been cameras it, yeah in the nah there was too much and I think like there was people out there that just like 
I love the Pirates of the Caribbean. You're like, well, that's not got anything to do with this, but okay, like, no worries. But, but it was, it was a bit ridiculous. Yeah, it's, 100%. Yeah. yeah, it was crazy, 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 crazy. But we're I very just, we're very into, like, docos lately. Yeah. Mm. I just thought, for me, the most interesting, this is so weird, the most interesting thing about that whole series, because we just watched The Lincoln Lawyer, yeah. was physically how the lawyers, how the lawyers stand do shit. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. in the room. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because it's like, it's... Obviously. I wondered why you liked that because I was like, why are we watching it's this? It's different to the TV the shows, thing. obviously. They walk around, they talk to the jury, whereas yeah. like in this case, they're just standing at the little bar. Yeah. I still, Do you know what I mean? And yeah. the like Johnny and Amber were much more conversational different. in their yeah, answers different. rather than when you watch TV. Sh- I've obviously never been to court, but obviously yeah. in TV shows yeah, like, yeah, yeah. no. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's very different, yeah. but yeah, it was cool. I do. I like it. I don't know. It's like a weird, it. weird crime interest. Yeah, well, good because I like true crime. You know, I might watch Judge Judy when we get home. Stop it! Talk, no, I'm kidding. Talk to, like that after that. Oh, when your wife is dog. To, <laughs> that's a good. That's, I'm telling you what, <laughs> Judge Judy is great. <laughs> I will. I think we'll we'll just end. Oh my god, almost an hour. That's that's mm, crazy. So let's of, end it there. Yeah. Of so much. Um. I if you have you. true crime stories, please, uh, true crime, no, am I the arsehole <laughs> stories, please. If you kill someone, let us know. <laughs> we'll don't, talk about it. don't send in true crime. <laughs> but more arsehole stories, yeah, send yeah, them in. Yeah, send us. But make them a little bit more borderline. Like this is mm. very one-sided. Mm. Yeah, but like that's what a lot of them are. But next week, maybe next week we'll do like one and I'll yeah. try and find one that's got a bit of like, mm, yeah. a bit of both sides because yeah. there is a few of them. We're not going to turn into a am I the arsehole show. I but, you do know, love it, am I the arsehole. It could be a segment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very true. All right. Thank you so much for listening. We'll be back next week. Thanks for listening. And that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Bye. <laughs> bye.